If you've seen your body shape change over the years, maybe you've gained weight, you've lost weight, or neither, just body shape changes due to age and hormones, and your clothes no longer fit in the way you remember and give you the confidence you desire. If that's you, then you're in the right place. I'm Ada, and over the last 15 years, I've taught thousands of women how to look and feel confident in their clothes through my designs and online style courses. Women with different body types and shapes, ages and lifestyles. If you've been at this game figuring out what to wear to feel fabulous and nothing seems to cut it, many of my clients have been in the same place. You keep buying and trying things on and hours of wasted time and lots of money later, a closet full of clothes and nothing to wear gets a girl frustrated. I've seen all those tags in your closet. I'll show you in just a second what it's all about. Now, I didn't always know this, but you don't have to change your body to fit your clothes. So after I had kids, naturally I had gained weight and I thought, what a waste. I just have this closet full of clothes and nothing fits me. So I don't necessarily want to go out and buy new clothes because I just want to wait for my body to go back to normal. Only to my surprise, the weight loss came super slow, but my loss of confidence came really fast. And later when I did finally lose the weight, to my surprise, those clothes that I had in my closet, they didn't even fit. Why? Because my body shape changed. So again, either your weight goes up or down. What some of us forget is that your body shape changes with it. So it's not you, it's the clothes. It's not about the size, but about your body shape. And that's my message to you today. So again, going up a size or going down a size, it's super common and very often we don't think about our shape, but we could really save so much time. Like if you go to the store or if you're shopping online, if you're more aware of your shape and how to dress for your shape, it makes purchasing so much easier. And what happens now, you're not wearing an oversized t-shirt that makes you look bigger. And of course your brain, when you see yourself in the mirror, you're gonna 10X even that. What is now happening is you have a form fitting, a more uh, flattering silhouette that you're wearing because again, it's more flattering for your unique shape. So now let's dive in and talk about jeans because that's really easy to shop for, right? I think I've heard a couple clients say that jeans are as hard to shop for as swimsuits. So let me give you some tips on what to pay attention to when shopping and dressing up in your casual pair of jeans. Now there's different rises. So you can have like a high rise, you can have a mid rise, you could have a high mid rise. I mean, there are different rises. So you want to pay attention to also your torso. And if you have a longer torso or a shorter torso, and that of course it matters. Another thing that you want to pay attention to is color of my jeans. So just a general rule of thumb is if you get darker jeans, they minimize. And if you get lighter jeans, they maximize. Now, if you're smaller at the bottom, you do want to maximize. You want to make your smaller look bigger in proportion of your into your torso. And if you're somebody that's bigger down at the bottom, then maybe you do want to minimize with a darker jean. The next thing you want to think about also is the cut of your pants. Now, are you gonna go with a skinny jean or do you wanna go more with like a straight jean or a boot cut jean? Again, that really depends on your body type because if you're wearing something a lot like more skinny, then of course it's going to hug on your body and it's going to be a lot more revealing, obviously. Also, you wanna pay attention to the way that uh, the fading goes on the jeans. Is it vertical? Is it horizontal? If it's horizontal, it actually makes your leg look wider. Again, that could be fantastic in certain cases. So you just, again, need to know if you want your legs to look wider or slimmer. And these are two different, same exact woman, being photographed here, but wearing two different cuts of jeans. So you have to really pay attention to that as well. I think one of the best fit jeans is what you want to look for is again, something that's going to hide here, the sides, right? Tuck you in, make your tummy look flat because a lot of women think that it's all about the shirts, but it's the shirt that needs to be oversized and that's what either hides or uh, accentuates your tummy. But it's also about the jeans and the right pair fit of jeans 
can really flatten your tummy out as well. You want the jean to be pretty form fitting across the thigh area and then pretty much kind of like go straight down after that. So nothing too wide and nothing super tight and clingy. That's best rule of thumb. Now when it comes to the booty, who wants to have a flat booty or who wants to have like a nice perky elevated booty? I know which one I'm gonna pick. Well, the wrong pants will make your booty look like a pancake and the right ones, especially paying attention to the pocket of your pants, will help make it look perky and perfect. So quick rule of thumb when it comes to pockets, if you have a big butt, then you want to go with a bigger pocket. If you want, if you have a smaller booty, you can go with a smaller pocket and you want the pockets to be up higher, not sagging lower. Okay, so a really quick recap, you wanna be paying attention to the cut of your jeans, the color of your jeans, the rise, right? The how high and how low they go so that it hides everything nicely. You want to also pay attention to the length and overall the fit. Now, one more important note, you don't have to be a size zero, a perfect hourglass, age of 25 and blonde to pull this off. Because again, dressing for your body shape is like the foundation. And then of course you could build upon that. Now in this video, I want to take you deeper in this area and I'm going to show you how to identify your body shape and your body nuances. So you can really laser in on the clothes that will flatter and help you finally put together outfits with these and feel like you're worth great style. We're going to be covering a lot of ground today and what I'd love for you to do is take out a pen and paper so you can make notes, a measuring tape, and have a full length mirror. Tape measuring and then you wanna make some notes, make sure you have that calculator down below in front of you. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is stand in front of a mirror and it's kind of hard to do this on your own but you're gonna to wanna to take the tape measurement and put it around your shoulders and take the measurements. Then you're gonna to wanna to take the measurements around your bust, your waist, which is right above the belly button, and your hips. You're gonna note those down on your pen and paper and then you're going to plug them in to the body shape calculator. You also wanna take a look at your assets that you have. Like, what do you love about your body type? Do you love your smile, your neck? Do you love your arms, your legs? Next, what I want you to do is look at your body nuances. So what is it exactly that's making it difficult for you to find the right clothes? Is it your arms? Is it your tummy? So here are a few before and after uh, images of some of my clients that I styled and that I worked with showing you that it's really not about the size of your body, it's about the shape and dressing for it and how it really can make a big difference. Now again, knowing your shape, so knowing that you're a little bit bigger up on top with your uh, wedge, like a wedge shape, then you're going to know what to look for in a store. And I, and I think it'll make a really big difference for you, especially if you're shopping or you're shopping online or you're trying to figure out how to put together outfits that flatter. Now the problem you might be having now is perhaps you have the right top, the right fitting pants, yet you're still feeling a little bit frumpy. You're not quite sure how to put together the entire outfit. Sometimes you need those small tweaks to really get it right. Well, first of all, just for a super quick fix, um, sometimes we forget that maybe just adding a lipstick or a little bit of blush, makeup, fixing our hair, that also is a part of our outfit and it does make a big difference. But let's take a look at the clothing. So, for example, in this green t-shirt, one of the things that she could do is she can bring it up a little bit. I think that the t-shirt is a little bit long. I, a necklace could work as well. Maybe a little bit of print and a belt in a handbag or in her shoes. That would make a big difference as well. And if you do have a t-shirt that is a little bit oversized right now. Another little trick you could do is you can tie a rubber band in the back and then tuck it in the back or tie a rubber band in the front and tuck it in the front. It'll just give it more shape. And of course, build a relationship with your tailor. That is also a huge takeaway from many of my style clients. And I give you the tips in my program of how to talk to a tailor because of course, um, their specific language you want to use. In this next mini makeover example, here she's wearing a very typical outfit that, you know, you'd wear on maybe a casual day, kind of a boxier t-shirt and jeans. But now let's make over this outfit. 
So instead of something boxy, you can go with something a little bit more fitted. It could be just as comfortable, but a little bit more fitted. The lacing on the sleeves is adds this like really nice little feminine touch. You don't have to go with the lacing. You don't even have to go with something super fitted. You could also go with a peplum, something that just has more shape to it. So here's that example. And then I love that here she's wearing a little bit more of a darker fitted jean. She is more curvy, so she could go with a kind of like a, a bell bottom pant, but if she's wearing boots, then a skinny jean looks perfect. But again, it's just, you can see the difference that if you're wearing something a little bit more form fitting, you do look smaller and something that's gonna be boxier and baggier just adds a few pounds. Now, one of the other things that I very often hear is like, well, is really dressing your shape that important? I mean, I just kind of am gravitated to what I like and that's what I wear. However, again, you see with some of these mini makeovers that these small tweaks and dressing for your shape does really lead to your confidence and leads to you having more energy and being happy and looking more important as well. So again, these are small little makeover tweaks, but you can see that it would make a big difference. It's been awesome sharing this information with you. I'm so happy I've inspired you to take action and get results and finally be able to know exactly how to dress for your body type so you're proud of the body that you have, you're confident. And again, I know that sometimes we reach a certain age and our confidence gets a little bit shaky. So that's what we're here to work on together. I've been reading every comment and responding and I would love to hear from you.